Alright, what's good guys? Um, making this video real quick just to show you a really cool uh, effect that you can do um, that emulates uh, Playboy Cardi's whole lot of red album. So, here I've got the album cover pulled up. Uh, basically what the effect does is gives it this almost ink print type look um, where it's just black and white contrasting. So, first thing I do I'm going to pull up a picture of uh, Cardi here. Rasterize, so I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And then once that's done, go up here to Filter, Noise, and Median. And what this is going to do is smooth out the image. It's going to take out some of the fine details. And you really want to just play around with it. You want a balance between, you know, you don't want something like this where it, you really can't see any of uh, his face but you also don't want it to be almost too fine where you can see you know the marks in his skin so somewhere in the in between I think a good one might be around 8 here which that's pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and the next step is to go up here to threshold and as you can see comes out perfect right away and this might not always happen so you might have to you know, play with the uh, the levels here so I think it was right around a hundred here where it was you know, really good so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that um, one thing I do want to show you really quickly is if you do want to say remove some of the darkness around his eyes or say there was something maybe in his collar or buckle that you wanted to include what you could do is go over here to your burn tool or dodge tool so I'm just going to show you how you can uh, take away some of the black spots and turn them white so what you do is click here it'll give you the option to rasterize the smart object uh, go ahead and click OK. Change your brush size if you need to. Um, the smaller you go, the more fine uh, you can get. So, turn down just a little bit. So, say I wanted to remove uh, the edge here, you would just go ahead and cl uh, click and drag it around. So, I'm going to hide the threshold. Basically, what it's doing is you see it's brightening up the the image and if you want to do the opposite so make more of the black parts what you do is switch to your burn tool here um, and basically I'm just going to kind of undo what I just did so if you look at the image again um, it's getting darker obviously instead of lighter so yeah that's really it um, sometimes you might find that uh, you might get like the perfect effect with one feature so maybe his eyes came out perfectly uh, if you were using a different picture and you might have to go back and uh, use the burn tool to bring out more detail so say uh, this part of his nose wasn't there when you found a good threshold layer that made his eyes show up so you'd have to use the burn tool and uh, go over those parts to bring it out. So really that's the effect. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a side-by-side. A -side. So let me show you what the effect that I used and the uh, album cover. So if you wanted to apply it to just uh, this layer, what I do is I'll just select both of them, convert it to a smart object, and then now you can see the threshold is only applied to the one image so yeah I hope you guys are able to use this um, it's really versatile you don't have to use it in just this one way uh, you can apply this effect to all different types of pictures and images so uh, just get creative with it so thanks for watching guys